Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and this is episode 31 of Airport City here in City Skylines. Now as you might see, uh, a lot of things have changed since episode 30 and that had a reason. Because since approximately episode 27, 28, I noticed that I got more and more traffic and I did not uh, saw it uh, that quickly, but after I built this stuff and all the other unique factories, traffic started to accumulate in this area, this area, and then here we used to have the cargo transport uh, airport, and actually it was the cargo train terminal that belonged to the airport harbor, air, uh, airport uh, DLC, which was for some reason very slow in the processing of these um, of these trucks. So I was, I was yeah, this this traffic. It was at at a given moment. It was backing up for days. And probably if you look back a few episodes, you already see that uh, that the traffic was forming on this side of the road here. There was traffic here already was going around and it went slow uh, uh, through here to there and it, it stalled here and eventually it, it completely run completely chock a block and I was trying all tricks in the book finding and figuring out where how can I solve the traffic so I I, I reinvented this uh, train junction you can see it has a complete other shape I rearranged re re the whole road system for example I took this road and I took it from underground and put it over this edge over there all the way to the other side connecting it up to this road in the hope that the traffic then will go over the highway instead of um, you know uh, underground so the underground road uh, is still there but it is only now an entrance road from from here so the, that road is still going from here to here but also I changed this because uh, this goes now out towards basically the same road you see here with some tree anarchy of course naturally and uh, let's get out of this view and um, Yes, and well, I will, you know, let me first uh, remove those trees because you know those trees are ugly. <whistles> yeah, I remove them. So yeah, I I did a lot of things to to get that done, and in the meantime, yeah, my creativity also uh, went along, of course. So I created this puddle in the meantime. Uh, I even created a what I call transatlantic uh, train line, which is this one. In the hopes that the cargo will go then through here through to the other side because I noticed that most of the cargo that came from here went to this cargo harbor and from here it probably went to the other side to this side so I thought to myself maybe it helps if I build like a you know a train line from here I will show you what I did so oh yeah and then let's go underground you can see where it already goes. You see that train line, this train line there, blah, 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 all on the ground there, under the ocean, and it comes on the other side here. Now, as you can see, also here I uh, finagled uh, a bit. You know, uh, I added uh, some residential stuff over here and these uh, ware warehouses. I don't think that I already put them there because of this, yeah, this thing over here. Uh, and I even created a huge amount of extra water around here. I only had like a, sl a slide of water, but I thought to myself, why not make it bigger, you know? And also make a little passageway in between here, so for exportation. And I already, you know, indicated like what I have to be built, what I have to build here, like in this case, an ore industry, and forest industry. Uh, and here a new urban industry because I created this road also using the parallel road, uh, road mod uh, within uh, the um, this tool the network multi-tool uh, coming out of the city here and let me also remove those trees like that and that comes out here and I experimented here with the train triangle by making this not go over this one 
but go actually under there. Uh, it actually also works, so quite nice, actually. Yes, um, okay, so basically I monkeyed around a lot off screen and eventually after I placed a, where is that thing? Mm, oh yeah, yeah, a regular cargo train terminal. It was like 15 minutes, 20 minutes and all the traffic, it started to disappear. But now comes the fun part. Now comes the fun part. If I press Ctrl L, now you can see it's it's very small. But I can also make it bigger by saying options. Temporary at least. Gameplay. No, sorry, graphics. And I say like set it to this. Apply. Chink. Now it gets now it gets bigger. Um, if you see here vehicles active are now 28,000 vehicles active in the city. 28,000 vehicles. Oh, it jumped back automatically. Oh, that's nice, okay. Good enough for me. And we play with despawn mode off, and the traffic is now hovering at 88% with so many vehicles. I think that is definitely not bad. After, after you know, this mess, and I have been searching for hours not not just simply changing the station and thinking like okay now i'm done with it no i tried everything in the book and what you see here for example this is just a part of the sponge because since you know most of the traffic disappeared i even removed some of the road here because this really went up and down every nook and cranny was filled with uh, with road basically and I was like flabbergasted, you know, I thought like, why is why is this not working, what is going on? And then I determined that this thing, well not this train station, but the other one belonging to the uh, uh, airport DLC was as slow as, well, you name it. Yeah, that's the whole, that's the whole deal. Now. What are we going to do this episode? Well, I have multiple options. I can build this ore industry, I can build a forest industry. Um, I can make like a, a, these uh, harbors over here, which I've been thinking about. I can also focus myself on the new to build urban industry. So there are multiple ways I can actually go. Now, I already talked like 10 minutes. So I think like maybe, maybe I can build like yeah, you know, we already have like this big uh, more ore, and we don't have that. Yeah, we do have like also a uh, yeah mega well, forest industry over here. So <laughs> it's a little bit of both actually. Let us focus on the forest industry here, shall we? So um, let me see a road. So we have a road here. So this is the main road that goes actually to this area and we have no road going into that area. So let's just see, um, let's press play. Let's get this one and let's see where we can take this one. And why I'm on the ground, I don't know. First of all, I want to take this road and let me turn anarchy on and put this there. Um, Okay, now let's see, uh, let me take this up into the air, like this, and then yeah, like that. Oh, that. That looks a little bit weird over there, don't know why that is. No idea. Let me try that again. Oh, I see. There's another node close by. Ah, let me remove that one. Okay, done. That's done. Okay, you go there. And then from here to there. Now, let me see what's the best option. Let's get a little bit closer like that. And then make a bend. That's a very tight bend. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. I think we need to bend, make the bend earlier. So then we do that. So let's see how we're going to do it. We take this option. 
6 by 6. Take it up to 12. And then just go over it. Although it's not 100% straight. In relation to this... Well... In that case, we will just do it like this. Now, now it's straight, sort of, yeah. Okay, I spent three minutes on just building a road. That's nice. Now let's have a look at this road. Can we make it a little bit better? Like that, like that. And I think there's a pillar under there, so I will drag it a little bit forward, like that, like that, like that. And yeah, now it uh, looks fine. Great. Okay. We take the road again. And we take it down. Okay. So here we are on the edge of this ore part. And let me see. Now we have also this road. Uh, okay. Yeah. This. We take this road. And I want to get it over here, but that's too close by for a possible roundabout. So I make this a temporary road like that. And from here, I do it like this. It's all like a little bit, uh, a little bit of this and that. So 16 by a... 16, that will go there, remove this, take this, how far is this, it's 9 by 7, nah, that's okay, put that around, and then we take this road again, here we go, that's nice, now from here, we take this all the way into that direction, how straight is that? You know what? I just pull it all the way through that forest area. Oh. Mamma mia! Oh my life. Going through all those trees. Yeah, actually. You know, it would not be bad if that road would go there and then outside of the map. Hmm. You know, I wonder if I even <laughs> even will build a... If I get to build a, an actual industry today. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just m so monkeying around currently. Okay, you go there. Yeah. Okay, let's use this tool and then say like, you, you, that's on the wrong side, okay. Then from you, 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 and you. Okay, let's bring this up. Mamma mia, that takes like ages. Ugh. Yeah, that's the roughly, okay, it's 80 meters, okay. Let's see, can we make that connection point all the way to the end? Yeah, I think it's far enough. Well, it sort of runs parallel, except it does not connect here. go hmm okay okay <laughs> well there's a kind of kind of weird wiggle over here but we can fix that so gentle by doing that okay then we take the highway the official highway from colossal themselves colossal you know colossal colossal 
If we take this, then we go to there, yeah. And then from here we go to no, slightly lower from here to there. And then from here to there. From here to there. And uh, let's get a little bit closer. Ta-da! That works. Okay. So. Oh, you wish. And here we go. Nice. And everybody can move on. Nice. So. That road is connected and already cars are driving there. Okay. So what was I planning to do? I wanted to build a forest industry over here. Okay, how much time do we have left? Not that much. Uh, let's see. I want to utilize the this road. Yeah. So let's just go up and up. And I was there's a, also a but atta attached to this because although I planted these uh, trees here, it does not mean automatically that the ground here is completely fertile so the most uh, fertile ground we find in this area and in this area um, yeah most here okay that's no problem I mean we can just go roughly here like that yeah and have that also ultra by the way that um, main building just make a road here like that like that okay let's see the main building for the forestry industry we have it over here so we plant that down there and then we have like the maintenance building put that over there and so we have it. Okay, now let me have a look here. Again, where are the most fertile grounds? Uh, they are actually there. Okay, so I need to be roughly around here. Okay, so I grab this road and take it from here. Connect it up to there. Yes. Great. Now let's see what we can get is this the big one large tree plantation yes that will do eleven thousand units per week uh, put it there one there and one next to it and here also eleven thousand oh that's okay there and there okay let's see if we can give it some shape some alder and some beach and some have we, do we have some nothing that is called red alder no beach nope it's not okay conifer this okay let's uh, keep those three for now let's keep it simple for the time being because like I said I don't want to spend too much time on this in this episode because well for reasons that so uh, let's see how big are the uh, actual uh, storage facilities these are the best these contain the most capacity 15 12 15 yeah it's only a pity that they are like you know shaped like this hmm Well, we can do something about that. We just do it like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then we take it up to there, and then to there. Yes. And then we can put this over here, one over there. Mm, let's say roughly one sort of over there and then we can also put one over there then we have like four of these guys 
Yeah, that can basically hold all the stuff. That's nice. Okay, so okay. Um, let me build a few more roads to build upon, like there and then to there. From here. Let me also grab it from here to there as well. And we also do have a train line passing by, so it would be nice to have like a yeah cargo station as well. Right. Um so okay, we have like storage over here. Okay, now let's see. We need uh this a pulp. No, uh, uh, yeah, pulp mill. Put one there. And we put one there. And we take like the engineered wood plant. We put it over there and over there. So those are two. Very, very close to each other, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather have a roundabout, you know, in between there. Ah, we still can do that. We move this a little bit to the left. We take this one, we move it a little bit to the left or in between. And then we take this road again. And we just simply remove it. And bring it here exactly to the middle. Yeah, like that. Okay, and from here we can go a little bit further. Just take the space you have. How close are we to this edge? Because, you know, of the harbor that we eventually also need later on. Uh, another one of these. Uh, there. And there. And then another one. Oh, wait a second. Um, Oh yeah, roundabout, yeah, roundabout, roundabout, let's not forget that, that's the roundabout, take this building and plonk it down here, don't know about here, it seems a little bit tight, if you ask me, so let's not put it there, and I think also this one needs to go one to the left, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, then we do it like, yeah, do it like that. That also works fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, we get it. We are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Okay, now we need warehouses for this stuff. Warehouses. Uh, one and two, and also on the other side here. So let's do it like this and for there. Okay. So like I said, we keep it fairly simple. In this case, a little bit of paper, a little bit of plain timber, a little bit of paper, and a little bit of plain timber. Great. Now, I know that I know it's not uh, fully complete yet because I had a long intro for this uh, for this episode. Now the last thing I want to do here is actually make a, a station. Now let's move this thing. Can go to come on to there. Cargo station. So for that cargo station, let me see. We need this one. This is the cargo station, and we need it to be loaded at the right side. Okay. Okay. Let me plonk it down there for the time being, and then we take. A two lane road, two lane one way road, boat, boat, and it will go from there. Oh, that's not the same. Okay, that's a pity. Not too bad. Then we connect it like that. Okay, now let's see if we take this thing and put it here. And then we put it on the other side. Okay, so as I can see, yeah. Mm. How far does it need to go up? 
it needs to go up like if it has to be there I think two pieces okay let me let me see what I can do uh, put you back there okay Only two pieces. Um, that's tricky. That's very tricky. Let's see. This is three. Actually, I need that this to be two. Uh, it seems to be impossible to make this actually a two. Let me try just this, you know. Um, why not? Let's see where we end up if I do this, I think. It's not that bad. It's fairly okay. Uh, I mean, uh, just uh, we can remove this, remove this, and remove that. So, okay, only a slight. Wait a second, but we can also use the move it mod to actually move that station in that direction. Now let me have a look. Um, nah, probably you squeeze this too much, but you'd never know if you don't try. So we select, we are selecting these. Yeah. Also, don't forget the, the station itself. Okay, now I leave the road alone. And I focus myself on the station, if I turn this off. And I think... I think we have it sort of in line. Yeah. Yeah, we have it in line. Nice. You go there. And you go there. Great. Now let's not forget the... Um, the bypass. Always important, the bypass. Never forget your bypasses. So, from here we do a 5 units. Yeah, seems okay. 5 units. And it's from here to there. How far is this? This is 17. So, do 5. Then I can make it go down 12. Because 12, well, that works always best with going down. Going down by <coughs> 12. No, I will flip it around uh, once I'm done. And now this does not want to go up. Come on, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And here also a 5. And here we are going into that direction. Here and there. Here we go. Flip this around. Yep, you, you, and you, and we need to go underground, underground, flip it around, flip it around, and then let's do the last piece. Let's see. Yep. And that's fixed. Nice. It actually works. Now, let me increase the speed on this road to 60, because I know, I, I know it's 40. Yeah. Yep, they can export and also let me decrease the speed here in the inner part of this section to 90 so all the other trains will go pass by. Yes, they can now go into that direction. They can go outside of the map. That's definitely not bad. So I'm now playing 32 minutes. Now let me see what I can do in that time frame regarding exporting stuff here. Now we know that these these things are all the way over here. Hmm. Okay. It does not need to be a problem because we can make a road that just simply goes there. but just goes over it. So let, let us try to make it. We will take it from here now it goes a little bit through the ore area but that's okay it's no problem 
make a nice bend. So a bend that comes out here in the middle, I think it's 17 by 17. That makes it very close to that. Yeah, let's, let's not do that. Maybe something like this, a 10 by a 10. Yeah, I think that would work better. That would definitely work better. <laughs> Make it go up to 10 units, and we go over this, over this, and over this, and over this, and now, this is interesting, you know, <clears throat> because I sort of made this with the idea in mind to go down. So let's see if we can uh, finagle this, um, because I actually want that harbor there. So let's soften this terrain. And I know this will be a very steep incline, but hey ho, hey ho. Well, let's see how this will go. Now, first we have to go down. We do it by 10 by 10. That will do. And now we take the curve option. Uh, we turn off. Ooh road guidelines and all the other stuff and we are going to bend this thing uh, around and let's see how this will go um, let's see so this is interesting let's take this option by the way and then go like that and then go like that and this is oh this is interesting go like that actually it's not that bad actually Yeah, and from here, 8 by 8. You know what, I'm not even complaining actually. And if we take it roughly here in the middle, this is like a little bit of yeah, guessing work, and then we select the harbor. Now a train line here, nah, that's not really possible, but putting a cargo harbor, a regular one like this, that should not be a problem. Okay, so we take this thing and we align it with the key wall, that's nice, and then we take this tool here to unhook this road, and then we take the two-way, one-way road, that goes from right to left, that's just the loading order of things, and this thing does not... Oh yeah, because the guidelines are off. And naturally, uh, 10 units, that's okay. And then we are going to make a bend. 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. And this is the middle section, yes. How far was this? 16. Then we also make this 16 and 5 and 11 is 16, yes, so here we make a 3 by 3, 3 by 3, and here we connect it up to there, nice. It was just, this was the middle section, oh okay, I overshot my target, well no problem, we can connect it also up to there, and... Yeah, I think, I think this is working. Why do I get the feeling I'm forgetting something? I don't know what, but... Uh, speed on this thing, 60. KPH, 60, also here. I don't know what it is. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, I thought that... Oh yeah, I, I remember now. I thought that this road was not 100% parallel to this one. Ah, yeah. I can still check that out, by the way. And... Select this. Now we bring it up to there. 
and yeah it, it was not hundred percent not hundred percent straight but well you can shoot me here we go yeah here we go connect it up and nice we can export yeah so we have like now this farm uh, forest industry to be built not to be built anymore it's now like forest industry and i still have to give it a name wow it's uh, importing a lot that's because these these are filling for the time being and we only have four of these guys so um, yeah i will definitely plant a lot more of those yeah also this is pretty pretty close so uh, actually if i move this one to there then it's further away from here yeah i think i like that better and not to forget yeah we are monkeying around here move those you away take you take you up to there and from there to there move those that away so we get more t junctions and yeah that works a little bit better take this one a little bit to the right yeah <laughs> kind of like that Okay, from here, yeah, I want to also build a round, roundabout here, and also a roundabout there. Don't worry, off screen I will uh, finagle them in the right direction, and here, yep, it's also recommended here, well, yeah, why not, why not, why not, why not. We love a good roundabout, don't we? Like I said, off screen I will make them uh, three lane. With all the uh, proper designations and all the all the nice goodies and whatnot, so yeah, that will be uh, that will be all right. So I think that's nice. So guys, the, there was episode um, thirty-one. Seems a little little bit uh, like as we have done nothing at all, but um, it was mostly talking all the time, all the time. Now let me find a nice decent spot to uh, show the whole thing. It's like a whole bunch of trees over here. Yeah, yeah, just this this way I like it. Definitely I like it. Yeah. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon again in episode 32 and then we will uh, go further with this also with the ore industry and maybe also off screen I will make already the infrastructure for the upcoming uh, urban in this uh, urban area on the other side of the map so you don't have to see that maybe i will make a time lapse of it so i can put that in front of the episode yeah that's not a bad idea either yeah yeah i might do that okay okay guys thank you for watching and i will see you the next time see you hey, bye bye